Listen up, parents and teens. There are three surprising tips that you need to know to crack the college admissions and scholarship code. Understanding what these are could change your teen's life and how they spend their time and also reduce their college costs. And here now with more from Potential Magazine publisher Pam Mashburn. Thank you so much. I know that you have some great tips because you always get so excited. I could tell you are very excited to get to these yes. tips. So let's, let's dive right in and talk about this. I know that a lot of people don't even worry about it because it's so much information out there. I know. But you're breaking it down for us. But information is, is powerful. It's it key. is. It and really it's, is. And it's, and, and it's surprising, actually. Yeah. So, you know, I've always thought, oh, we need to have our kids in lots of different activities, yeah. extracurricular, um, and making sure that they're getting good grades. But um, I wanted to break it down into three points. And these okay. are things we're going to be talking about at this Countdown to College workshop at oh, Park yeah, Crossing High School. This is my job to hold up this yes. sign so you guys can see this. This is going to be all over campus, and a lot of kids will uh, be able to see this. And this is for everybody, even though it's being held at Park Crossing. This is for all All of Montgomery. Kids. That's yeah. right. And so if you've got an 8th through 12th grader, uh -huh. come to this event because we're going to have um, six different colleges there mm -hmm. doing a workshop and telling us what are the things that are really important. Okay, what have you so, found out in your the research? The first one is that I found out that I always thought that it was important for my kids to take those AP classes and honors classes, yeah. the really hard ones. Sure. Well, what I found out is that when they look at the, tra they don't look at transcripts. When you apply to a college, a public university, they're looking at two things. What's that? GPA and ACT score. Not, and that's it. Not the courses you got the grade in. They're right. just looking at the grade and then at your test score. The bottom line. That's, that's all it. they're, yeah. And so well, they have so many to go well, yeah. through. Yeah. University think about of Alabama that. had 30,000 applications. So they're oh, not looking goodness. through all those transcripts. So the moral of this story is, it's important to get them prepared for college, but not at the expense of lower grades. Exactly. So okay. keep that in mind. All right. Okay, the second thing I thought that was really interesting is, you know, the kids are working on their, you know, their classes and all that kind of stuff. And it's important that they get a good GPA. And of guess course. what? They don't look at the senior one until later. Really, when you're applying, it's yeah, just ninth through 11th yeah, grade. Yeah, that's it. Oh, uh, that's like a bonus. It is. Bonus, it is. bonus tip. But anyway, the standardized test scores are the key thing. And you know, those are a four hour test yes. on a Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. And it, but they count almost more importantly than the GPA. Yeah. And that is the key to getting scholarships. Well, the schools must know that. They spend a lot of time getting kids prepared for that. And they tell us, you know, make sure they have breakfast, make sure they're right. focused and ready for this test because they know how heavily uh, that weighs. It says one point can equal $20,000 in scholarship Right. Money. So if you're looking at ASU, for instance, uh, the difference between a 24 and a 25 and a 26, Twenty thousand dollars. Wow. Tax free dollars. Yes. That you don't have to borrow. Absolutely. So that's really important. And even at, at University of Alabama, a twenty nine thirty mm -hmm. one point mm -hmm. twenty thousand okay. dollars. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of so, money. So and but the good news is, and we're gonna talk about this at the workshop, is there are test taking strategies because the kid that takes the test in December should be having the same kind of test in April mm -hmm. because they all because the colleges are paying to see apples to apples comparison. Right. So the good news is that means we can actually study and prepare for it. Good. So I've got a lot of tips for that and the colleges will too. And then the third one is, there's like billions of dollars in scholarship money. Yes, We've we heard that, that, right? Yes. Well, guess what? 80% of that money comes directly from the colleges. Yeah, yeah. So there's like 10% of that is coming from other sources, you mm -hmm. know, like Kiwanis Club and the credit unions and right, Alpha right. and those guys. Right. But if 80% of the scholarship money is coming from the colleges, that is why you need to come to this workshop and find out what are they really looking for. Absolutely. Because there are merit scholarships and it's just based on, guess what? ACT and GPA scores. Yeah, well, that's, that's a big it. thing, but I just uh, hosted with uh, Eric Snydel uh, a program, the uh, oh, Distinguished, Distinguished Young, Young Women, and yeah. thousands of dollars in scholarship money, but it was awarded by Troy University and some other schools. So a lot of those girls, if they're in that program and they do well, they could get thousands of dollars in scholarship money. And there money, is so. no reason that a child in Alabama can't get to college and have it paid for. Yes. But you've got to get them ready. Get the information. Get them ready. Go out and see them. Park Crossing High School next Tuesday, October 27th, 6 to 7.30. That's an hour and a half that could absolutely uh -huh. change and your child's free. life. And yes. it's free. Well, thank you so Thanks. much for being here. Yeah. Great. To, you're right. Those were great. Thank you so much. And